Curtin University student Mansi Matu paid $145 a week for her on-campus one-bedroom accommodation last year. This is it. Starts from there, ends there. That's the space that I keep my clothes in. And... But she says the rent has gone up by almost $100 this year. It was crazy increase in rent. $100 is a lot for a student coming, you know, coming from an international uh, ground uh, where you don't even earn that much. You're a casual employee. As an international student from India, she can work a maximum of 24 hours a week. The rent rise means she's had to cut back sharply on her food and essentials budget from $150 to $100 a week. And it's hitting rural and regional students like Jess Rowland from Albany just as hard. Especially from what I walked into because not only have you got the rent prices, you've got the one-off prices for the cleaning and yet I had to do a lot of cleaning. There was mould in one of the fridges. They're not alone in facing rent increases. So around this area, about $80 to $100 a week. Curtin University Guild says it's unjustified. Especially during the cost of living crisis, you know, an extra $100 a week is the difference between groceries, getting petrol in your car. Students like Mansi Matu say the steep rent increases would have been easier to take if the amenities had been improved. But they haven't. And they say on a hot day, it's almost unbearable with no air conditioning. Curtin University says on average rents have gone up by $36 a week, reflecting the end of COVID-19 subsidies and inflation. But I think what's not been taken into account is that post-COVID we've entered a cost of living crisis and a lot of students are struggling far greater than what they did before COVID. The university says it offers financial support of up to $3,000 per year for 250 students experiencing hardship. Nick Perpich, ABC News.